we're experiencing right here in the metro. This is what it looked like earlier tonight, just hours ago, at one Mount Zion apartment complex after heavy rains brought on flash floods there. Unbelievable pictures from Clayton County where the fire department is telling us the first floor of three buildings had to be evacuated because of the flash flooding. The Red Cross now working with those residents to help relocate them. All that flooding has since receded. Now, meteorologist Samantha Moore joining us now from the Weather Center. Any other potential threats as we're going to later into the night? Uh, into the night, I think things are quieting down, Faith, so that is the good news. Interestingly, the way everything's set up, as every evening we've had similar events like this, but it actually saw the heavy rain coming down in Clayton County, then an outflow boundary moved in towards a Peachtree City, so there's the heavy rain that came down in Clayton County earlier, and then the outflow boundary from that thunderstorm created a whole new line of storms. It was actually a confluence of outflow boundaries, and then that sat over Coweta and Meriwether counties, and they still have a flash flood warning there until 2.15 in the morning. But the good news is things are likely to continue to weaken as we head into the next couple of hours. We'll still have to monitor it, but I think uh, it's better than it was earlier when we just saw incredible amounts of rain. So far, these amounts have been some two to three inches in some of these spots, and uh, Coweta and Meriwether County. It has ended in Clayton County, but we'll have to watch again tomorrow because we still have this stationary front, which isn't going anywhere fast. We have an easterly flow and the air is just so moist. We could end up seeing some very heavy rain once again as we head into tomorrow afternoon and evening. So coming up, we'll talk about the timing that we're expecting for Sunday afternoon and evening, Faith. All right, Sam, thank you so much.